Hello all, hope everybody is doing well. I am um, Sam, also known as Sammy G. Here is my first ever video. <laughs> so definitely the beginning of like a new uh, chapter, starting out like, um, like my, my YouTube channel. And I wanted to begin this with part one of my blu-ray collection um this is going to um be like separate into like like um a, a fair amount of videos I've, i'm gonna like start off with like my standard blu-rays and then i'm gonna kind of lean into more like my, the, the high ticket items which i could which is the um boutique um like li labels so say like um Arrow Video, Criterion, Radiance Films, Mubi. I'll be doing like separate um, collection videos devoted to those, the boutique labels and the items that I own from those labels. I also just want to thank everyone um, that has supported me on like that when I've been on like live streams and um, all the lovely comments that I receive on posts on Instagram and social media. I will be doing a separate thank you video and a ton of shout outs to all like loads of wonderful people in the film community and I class as like dear friends as well. So without further ado guys we're going to get into part one of my Blu-ray collection and we are going to start with Chronicle. This is a really underrated movie this. Uh, Kind of, it, it, it's got kind of maybe a bit shaky camera and like movements in there, but it's, it's still real, really good. The story is very captivating and I do have a good time with this one. Definitely do a rewatch and it's the extended edition, which I don't think I've seen as of yet. Then we've got a film I haven't seen in a long time, The Artist. This was really fantastic from what I remember. It won oof, um, five Oscars, including Best Picture at the Oscars. So, uh, very cool. This. I, got, I got this, I think it was like cheap as chips. I think I got this for like a couple quid. Then, um, I will say a bit, bit of a shout out to my very good friend James at Movie Bug, because James is a massive fan of this film, The Nice Guys from Shane Black. I do did really like this one. I probably didn't love it as um, much as a lot of other people did, but I did really like it. Had a good uh, time with it. So I'll definitely be up for rewatching that at some point. Good um, buddy cop film that the nice guys. Um, a film that I did used to like, but I've kind of not been that all uh, too thrilled of like upon like. Um, rewatches and that's him um, getting to the um, the Greek. Yeah, um, it's got a good idea, a good concept, but it just doesn't quite stick to the landing for me. I found a lot of the humour just doesn't work in my opinion, but I do think it has a pretty decent um, like um, story to it. Um, yeah, just I think it's just this, that style of humour. I've, I've just um, it is not. Um, didn't really do much for me in this one. So that's um, getting to the Greek. Then a film I absolutely love. I remember going to see to the cinema to see this one. And have watched it a fair amount of times. I think this film's um, so underrated as well. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Brilliant film. Um, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, my favourite film with him. Um, Ben Stiller and also I think he's in the director's chair for this one as well. This is such a good movie. This one, guys, would highly recommend this one. A great adventure um, film, this one. And yeah, and it's got it's got some comical um, elements to it as well. Secret Life of Walter Mitty, a, a film I, I did had a very good time um, when I, I last watched this one. Although I think I've seen... This film, The Once, Free Guy, really enjoyed this one from Sean Levy, is it? Um, and it's got um, 
yeah, um, Ryan Reynolds as well and Jodie Comer did really like this one. I just yet to rewatch it. The Lego Movie. I haven't seen this one in a little while, but I can remember it being canny good. Um, I actually haven't seen it since the cinema. <laughs> a film I actually do quite like. It's um, not a film I, I go back to a hell of a lot, but I did remember really enjoying this one. I haven't bothered with the Disney uh, TV adaptation of this, um, like Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Um, yeah, I, I, I this this film I, I do have a bit of a soft spot for. I, th I think it's actually quite decent. Double disc with this one as well. Absolutely great film, this one, guys. If you're ever going to get into um, world cinema, this would be a great place to start, um, this one. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, absolutely brilliant film. Romantic, um, like, elements to it as well, as well as being a, a great, um, like, powerhouse uh, martial arts film. I, I would definitely recommend this one. A bit of a shout out to my very good friend Jack at Bring Your Own Popcorn, the Karate Kid collection. Only seen the first Karate Kid, but the Karate Kid, the, the first one, is one of my favourite films of, of all time. I absolutely adore it. I need to um have a proper night in and what and like binge all four of these films at some point. Uh yeah, I um yeah, but the first one, I, I absolutely, I think is is fantastic. One of my favourite films ever. And I think you've got, oh, you've got different artwork for each disc as well. I believe this is getting um, a the 4K treatment on Arrow over in the US. I really hope that does um, come to town, like in, obviously, in, in terms of like a UK release at some point. Conan the Barbarian. You gotta love a bit of Arnie. I'll be back. Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood with Tom Hanks, one of my favourite actors. And this is a pretty good um, biopic of um, Mr. Rogers. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I really enjoyed this one. Not as keen on the other two personally, but this this first one's great. Um, it's definitely kind of, you can tell this kind of, sort of influenced um, the people who made like Wayne's World. Yeah, super fun film, this one. Love, love the um, idea, the concept behind it. Just works for me. Street Cat Named Bob. The Secret of My Success. Bit of a shout out to my very good friend Mike at Did You See That? Because Mike's a massive fan of Michael J. Fox. And I think I found out about this film. I think it might have been, I think it was through him. And I think it might have been Andy at Forgotten World of Movies as well. But this is a this was a, a really enjoyable one all the same. I got this given. Um from my very good friend Ryan at Let's Get Kicking Movies, he kindly um, passed this on to like my uh, uh, on to me, and and, and uh, it's um, definitely gone to a good home. So thank you very much, Ryan. Freddy versus Jason. I need to watch the rest of the Elm Street film series and the rest of the Friday the Thirteenth film series, and then I'll definitely will be watching this. A film I haven't seen yet, John Carpenter's Vampires. Big fan of John Carpenter, but I've never, I haven't seen this film yet, so I'll have to put that right soon. Oh, right. I, I did watch this on the Horror Channel a few years ago, and yeah, I didn't really like it, but I might rewatch it. Ghosts of Mars. Some advertisements of other films there. A film I, I really enjoyed. It got um, a bit of a mixed reception, but I really had, um, like, I, I really did connect with this one personally, where the crawdads sing. 
never read the, the book of this. I, I do um, intend to do that at some point, but yeah, I, I thought this was, this was absolutely fantastic, really well acted. Some of the cinematography is beautiful and, 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 and they really like captured that time period really well in this. I haven't took the shrink wrap of this one yet, but I did remember really enjoying this one. I'm a big Coen Brothers fan. Um, oh brother, where art thou? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, yeah, brought the a brand new copy for three ninety nine, which I thought was a, a, a bit of a bargain there. I think I will keep this one in the shrink wrap for for now, but I, I definitely do plan on rewatching it. And I do remember it being a very solid film there from the Coen Brothers. Yeah, the next two are Coen Brothers films as well. We've got Barton Fink. Brilliant film, this one. I did remember really liking this. Um, you obviously John uh, Turturro and uh, John Goodman, who um, is not all uh, like what he seems in like this film. You know, he, 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 he like let's say there's a bit of a. I don't really want to spoil it, but there's a bit of a like a twist with his like character there. Should we say another great film, True Grit. Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, and Josh Brolin. Oh my God, guys, we're moving to some um, excellent films here now. And I think these three are all from the same director. Summer's Town, super underrated film, this. It, it's definitely, you might call a bit of a simplistic drama, I really enjoy this, uh, uh, you know, and, and Thomas Turgus, who's going to be in the new um, film Jack Daw, which I think is coming out next week, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so, yeah, a great, it, I think it's only, yeah, just under 70 minute long, but it is it is excellent. Some great music in there as well. I love the, the friendship story in this that this film uh, beholds. And they've both got um, a crush and that and that um, on the girl um, from I think Paris as well. So very enjoyable film. This one, Summer's Town. What would uh, become of this? One of my favourite TV shows ever. I need to get the TV show on Blu-ray. Uh, I've got the film for now, but yeah, I watched this film again last year. It is absolutely brilliant but it is brutal in uh, in some parts definitely um this is england great british film it's 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 quite um upsetting at times with its uh, subject matter but it's a it's a really good movie this one guys gotta gotta be in kind of like the right mood to watch this one but it's it's fantastic and one of my favourite films of all time. I've watched this multiple times. I cannot wait for Second Sight to release that 4K release. Oof, that would be, that's going to be absolutely brilliant when that um, like arrives. I've got the Blu-ray for now and that's Dead Man's Shoes. Massive shout out to my very good friend Jordan at Movie Worm. I think he really got the word around about this film. And yeah, I, I just adore it. It, 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 it. It's it's quite harrowing, quite upsetting to watch at times, especially in probably the the, the, the final half an hour. It's a great um, nitty gritty revenge drama. Paddy Considine um, is very he plays this very unapologetic, uh, mean spirited um, antagonist in this, um, but it, it is absolutely fantastic um the, the blu-ray looks excellent as it is so i cannot wait to see what second sight are gonna bring to the table that 4k release what one of my favorite films of all time and i've got my um ticket there from tyneside cinema in newcastle and i actually went to go to the to tyneside to see this with my again my very good friend mike at did you see that back in October, so absolutely, yeah, breathtaking film, phenomenal. And the last um, Blu-ray I am going to show for part one, guys, is my most watched film ever, me being a Yorkshireman, this film 
it is always going to hold a special place in my heart. I watch it every year without fail. It is absolutely superb, guys. I cannot recommend it enough, and that's Kez. This is absolutely incredible. If you know where it takes, like, where, like how it ends, you know, like, it, it, it's, you know, it, like, it, it's kind of a very daunting outcome especially for like uh, some like uh, for like um a couple of like characters in this i absolutely yeah i, I cannot praise this film enough i what I've, i think i've seen this film honestly guys about a thousand times and it's it's based in in barnsley in like the late 1960s this film i think came out 1970 i've read the book as well from um barry hines i think it is and um as it, it is barry hines yes um and i've um and i've got actually got the soundtrack on vinyl i think from john cameron i believe and i love the score to that as well definitely are rooting for um the main um protagonist in this which is billy casper it, it, it's absolutely it's absolutely brilliant this got a lovely like um little booklet there as well and the disc this is i think this one's out of print now from eureka i really hope one day maybe um like another distributor company will pick up on on this again and we'll get like a nice 4k release of this but yeah absolutely i can't praise this film enough that's kez from ken loach which i consider to be Ken Loach's masterpiece. So there you go, guys. That will do it for part one of my Blu-ray collection. I hope all uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Do let me know, by the way, in the comments uh, down below if you've seen any of these films. What's your thoughts on them? And I will be back um, hopefully soon for part two of my Blu-ray collection video. Uh, video and. Um, I'll also do be doing a separate video, giving a, a lot of shout outs to fellow members of like the film community as, as well. So that definitely will have that video um hopefully coming out um like it like it hopefully soon in due course. So thank you for watching this guys. Take care and I'll see you all for the next video. Bye bye.